thank you for the organizer for inviting me to present uh, some uh, some issues concerning source separation. And I try to focus on biomedical signals and uh, with the questions uh, blind or not blind. In fact, at the beginning, a source separation was associated to the to the word blind. It was blind source separation because we try to have uh, as weak as possible information, prior information concerning the data. But in the case of biomedical, in, in from, uh, biomedical application, in fact, we have a lot of information. And if we can use this information, we can simplify or find more efficient methods. And I will try to explain uh, in this talk the main principle of source separation. And I try to explain how you can use, when you have prior information, how you can use them uh, in the methods. <coughs> So the talk will be organized in three parts. In fact, the, the first part on principle, a second part on applications focused on biology, uh, and a, a third part corresponding to current trends, especially in the, uh, in the domain of uh, biomedical signal. So begin with uh, the principle of source separation. Practically, the problem of source separation is a basic problem in signal processing. Uh, which happens as soon as you consider one sensor. When you have one sensor, like on this figure, for instance, it's like a microphone, and if you have uh, two sources which emit uh, sounds around, uh, what you uh, record on this uh, signal, it's a mixture of the two signals. And of course, one first step in signal processing, uh, it's try to extract the signal of interest and remove the noise. Of course, when you have uh, the signal and the noise which are very close, very similar, uh, it's difficult to do that. And uh, the main questions are here the following. Is it possible to do that? How we can do that? And so on. Practically, of course, you know that in signal processing, there is a few methods that could uh, uh, solve this problem when you have some priors. For instance, if you know that uh, the two signals, I assume for simplified two signals only, uh, the two signals are living in different frequency range. You can just make some filtering. If you have also other information, it's well known, like uh, withdrawal of methods of noise subtraction. If you have, for instance, one reference of the noise of the signal which is not of interest, you can remove by subtraction uh, very simply with second order statistics. It's well known for a long time here. But uh, if you have no this kind of priors, what can we do? The basic idea of 